the red corner. He was the winner of UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship number three. He is 31 years old, weighing in at 200 pounds from Omaha, Nebraska, Steve Jenner. And his opponent needs no introduction to fight fans around the world. He is the six-time Brazilian Muay Thai champion, two-time Brazilian Valley Judo champion, the Brazilian state heavyweight boxing champion, winner of UFC number seven. They call him the king of the streets from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Marco Pula. Marco Juez gets into the ring after I said takes seven months off to uh, work on his uh, style to work on his uh, strategy. He looks like he is bulked up, and again, Steve Jenham is no slouch. This guy is a police officer, as I said, in Omaha, Nebraska. Knows all about what it takes to uh, survive on the streets, and this ought to be a great fight. Both fighters coming in, trying to size each other up. Marco trying to go right away, trying to get Steve into a hole that he can put him on the mat, and uh, there will be no loss of energy here. Both fighters are going all out. What do you see so far, John? Well, I see that Marco has put Jenham where he wanted. And uh, I think it's a question of time now. Joe, uh, right now, it looks like uh, Marco trying to wail away with the fist, trying to soften up Steve. But again, Steve knows what it takes to survive on the street. He's a police officer. You uh, sometimes get yourself in tough situations. A headbutt by Marco. What do you see after a seven-month playoff? Does he look like he's lost anything? Well, Marco is a very diversified guy. And uh, no, Steve doesn't look like he's lost anything. But Marco is very, very smart here. He's on side mount. He's putting some punishment in. I think he's going to try to soften uh, Steve up and then try to mount him. Steve uh, certainly looks like he's in a very difficult situation. And Marco trying to bring the, the arm back. Can't do it. Steve gets out of that. The referee very close looking for any kind of uh, submission uh, movement. The, the top out by either fighter. Marco right now on top. It certainly looks good after that seven-month layoff. That's right. He looks very relaxed on top there. Steve Jenham certainly has himself in, in quite a situation. He knows that he comes in the uh, lesser experienced of the two. Marco known for his style, that Valley Tudo, that get in the on the ground, get into the submission, work your fighter over, work on their weak points, and right now that's exactly what he's doing. This uh, Steve Jenham has already opened up uh, a cut to where he has started to bleed, and uh, you can just wonder how much longer he can uh, withstand the, the punishment that Marco's doing with the fist, the elbow, it's all, over. it's all over. That one did not last very long. Marco comes back after a seventh month layoff, and it takes him only one minute and 45 seconds to put away Steve Jenham, who has got his mouth open with blood. Steve Jenham is put away by Marco Juez, and of course, there will be a very special belt presentation for uh, the king of the streets, who has uh, come away the winner tonight in this super fight in the World Valley Tudo Championship.